Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome to some Anno 1800. Game, game, Ubisoft has reached out to me by their game plan to make some Let's Play slash tutorial slash walkthrough slash something content with Anno, and I will admit, I'm not a huge Anno player. I've played little bits here and there, but I'm extremely inexperienced. It's looking like this is gonna be the thing for me though because this is 1800 my very favorite time period with muskets and ships and colonization and just starting to realize that slavery is perhaps not the greatest thing in the world so i'm just gonna do a little campaign story and show you guys kind of what the game is like and go through the campaign and it'll merge into the sandbox i will also be doing streams of this as well we're gonna select more guidance because it's been a long time since i picked anno and again i'll choose a very jaunty portrait Traits. Hmm, they all look kind of the same. Ooh, this guy needs a full beard though. I like the guy with this beard, but I don't want to be as fat as this guy. I don't want to make my. I don't want to think. Hey, that's me. Nah, this guy looks working class and fun. That's great. I'm not really working class, but I guess I am. Sure, why not? Hed <laughs> Hedwig Lair, Aldra Hill. Who do you think I am? Dynamite fishing. You're serious. I thought I was playing Beauties. a strategy game. I just get plenty of distance on the throw. This is like Tropico or some crap. That burnt reek. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I have never asked anything of you, firstborn. Wait, is it a steamship? It's only 1800. All right, steamships weren't really around then. Is this the Industrial Revolution? It's only 1800. Industrial Revolution wasn't until around 1845 to 1855. Those Hey, there we go. Chapter one, the game begins. What? Still here? 50 farmers. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Start with a marketplace. In an open space, people can live around it. Boom. Nobody will reach marketplace until you build a road connected to the trading post. Housing is essential. I guess build a little road around the marketplace. The age of agriculture. Oh, I can see this is going to like mess me up. Like not being able to... I have to plat this exactly, otherwise I'm gonna go crazy. Look, there's a little space. That's gonna make me go insane. That is one ugly settlement. Oh, it's terrible. I need to have a 250 attractiveness. Nice enough while still remaining deeply weird. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, it attracts people. Game saved. Game saved. Now, I don't know if, like, does it matter? Do I need to, do people need to be able to reach things? Like in Banished? Oh, look at that. That's stretching. It's really good. That looks really nice. Now, a village. Clear an abandoned market district. Okay. Oh, God. Look at all the things I need. Build a pub. Get get schnapps. Good God. They're really propelling me into this. Connect a trade. Okay. Get a warehouse. Ah, things are shared. Okay. So, range is affected. Toast to the future. Build a pub. Pub? Well, this is a potato farms and schnapps distillery, so these require stuff. Why is there no production? Full output storage. No warehouse in range. Warehouse. What? Oh. What? Oh. But, 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 but there is. Warehouse is right there. Should we, should we try this? Maybe the roads need to be directly connected. Right, they have to be connected directly. That makes sense. Oh, that's cool. So there's a lot of permutation the way you can do this, actually. That's pretty nice. But where's this pub? <laughs> you just gave me a quest to get this. It's like, you need to do this right now, and I have already got it ready. Have you any oh my god, shut up. Yes. So it's all about early production chains. I Find your sands. cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edward's great exhibition. It seems what? we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Oh, hello. We'd rather die than stay. Yeah, this is pretty. Ha! Gotcha. I'm literally just scanning for rioters. Just to keep me busy while my other dudes get their production chain set up. Ah, oh, man, this is pretty. This is very pretty. I love this. Ha! All right. There we go. Everybody on board. Good. To meet. I find that very confusing. Apparently, we've automatically been given debt to our uncle for some reason. Maybe Edvard that sucks. will try. So once we fulfill them with markets, fish, and clothing, we can upgrade them. A new milestone. Right, that's cool. And then it just gives us loads more room, and we're in the age of industrialization. But then we need to get even more clothes and fish. We need sausages, soap, 
bread and schools. Okay, so it's kind of stopped giving me instruction now, but that's okay. Oh, does it just want me to just straight up upgrade all Honest of these? Work. All. Is there a, a shortcut for this? I've got this drill for me late uncle. I thought you might find some use for it. Go ahead and take it. Thanks? Oh, that was farmers. There's workers. Ah! So I need a sheep farm and sail makers. We need more farm hands. This is already that. Apparently, we have an insufficient amount of farmers. Oh, I see. So the people within this become are farmers, and people here become workers. I see. So we don't want too many of them. We need to balance the amount of farms Workforce, we have. Sure. So I upgraded too many. That's all right. Okay, I need bricks to do that, though, so I'm going to need to get some clay. But I'm also going to need bricks. So that would tell me that I need to set up a road. Oh, that makes sense. Apparently, these guys have, like, a thing to give me, but they won't give it to me. What? I don't understand. So it seems to be all about making sure you can balance the amount of farmers you have with like other things you need so you don't want too many industrial workers but we've already got six bricks so that's pretty cool because this guy's working within range of this ah but it's taking him a long time to drop the bricks off look yeah it takes a long time to unload the bricks and then load back the clay so you need to make sure that you have the bricks in the in this next everything that's going to use things around warehouses like logically built okay that makes sense workforce shortage yeah all right calm down did you need to kind of build concentrically outwards ah we don't make enough wool because we have an insufficient number of farmers okay so this takes 32 seconds to make one these knitters take 31 seconds to make one so i need more wool this is actually quite cool i feel like that did actually give me time to learn it myself I did not find that that difficult. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope This is such a, a strange retrial. story. I just want to get back to building my city. We must document this moment. I can in take our a picture. Oh, okay, that's really cool. That is gorgeous. I don't the understand. I cannot to take this. History in the making. That's beautiful. That's the thumbnail right there. Chapter 2. A sign of fire. The weaponry they ask for presents Dear God, a how am I going to build ships? Even sure I don't have anything. Have an Find an iron mine so we can produce steel. That, that's zinc. That's clay. Iron! I see the iron is beyond our reach. We must destroy it. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. So now, apparently, I can... By people. Jesus Christ. Potation. I paid like five grand for this guy. That was so weird. That was really easy. That's cool. You can actually change the efficiency of individual places and it makes them unhappy. So you can if you can like lower the efficiency of one place to increase the happiness of your general population. That's pretty cool. Are I seriously cannot open this. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Are we to be overlooked? Well, no, but you won't let me... <laughs> Screw you. So this is cool. You can select individual bonuses to add to the newspaper. You can add distraction to reduce happiness In or journalism, consumerism. One holds a mirror to life, amplifies the voiceless, pursues truth. Awesome. News like a multi-stage thing just to get some damn iron, Anything man. Else? Right, let's blow it. Oh, it's a, it's a cutscene. I'm gonna drink my chai tea latte. That's right. And my own. He's still wearing his prisoner uniform. The guy was really fat. What was that? Boom. That was really a powerful dynamite. For a special happening. This may so I just unlocked it, but apparently I'm not allowed to get that until I hit 300 workers. Is that 300 total workers? No, that's actual workers, but I don't have enough jobs for workers. It's kind of annoying. All right, there we go. I've went and uh, bought a lot of noob homes, and hopefully that should be enough worker force. And now we can get some iron mines. So it would appear that basically I can kind of just put things wherever the hell I like. Like, it doesn't really matter the order and place in which I put things. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, get to work, scum. 20% more attractiveness. 
and furnaces and such. Nor do I care about sailing. I've just realized why I'm not progressing is because I need to actually build these ships. Right. I don't have enough weapons to build the gunboat. Oh, God, now we're at war. People are fighting us. Cannon tower. I wasn't where I had to defend myself. Right. I think I get it from here. You reach a certain point in the cat oh, in these kind of things where you just kind of want to... You just kind of want to build more. So... Yeah, all right. This makes sense. I think I've got it. I might try and jump over to a free play now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video where we're just going to go through the beginning of the campaign. Obviously, we've only done the two chapters. But I think from here on, it's going to get a lot easier to understand because there's only so many things to work to unlock. I haven't really explored the combat yet, and I think I'm going to do that in a beautiful little open game sandbox. I'm going to be streaming this on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Hill. So make sure you check that out. Um, I will put in the description in the comments where I'm going to be doing that below. So I hope to see you guys there. I was Alger and I'll continue to be, and this has been some Anno 1800. I'm looking forward to playing an absolute ton of this. Bye-bye.